have we finally found the golf ball that is a fraction of the price of the Pro V1 but gives you all the benefits. In today's video that is what we are doing, we are testing the Mint Talent Soft. Guys I can't wait for it, we to test it against the Pro V1 on launch monitor and out here at the beautiful Woolly Park Golf Club. So without any further ado I'm going to tee off and it has a high energy core for maximum distance. What more do you want for about £20? That felt so soft. Did that sound soft? It sounded super soft. That is a perfect start. Christopher, how are you? I've not, I've not introduced you today. Built for winter today, although the sun has just the come out. The sun has so just come out. We so, shall see. 24 euros a dozen, about 20 pounds a dozen. What are your yeah. thoughts looking at this golf ball as a, as a golf professional? Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. It doesn't look like some balls we see at that price. It, it, it's probably a little bit whiter than we'd see a Pro V1, so the finish maybe. Yeah, so it's not a European cover, it is that Serline, so it's a yeah. cheaper plastic. Yeah, so the colour doesn't look as premium, but again, like you said, super soft. Certainly sounded totally different. Nice low ball flight. A low slinger. Yeah. So everybody on this YouTube channel, we are searching for the best golf ball at a cut price. So instead of looking at Titleist Pro V1, TaylorMade T35, Callaway, Chrome Soft, and all the high-end balls, can you find a ball that you can play not only during the winter, but also in the on-season when you are trying to play your best golf, but you don't want to lose loads of money. Right, Chris, that is unfortunately a missed fairway with the first shot. Gone a little yeah. bit further than you anticipated, or? Yeah, it has gone a little bit further. It was missed. Oh, but it still ran out here and still went as far as I'd expect. It's going to be interesting to see here, obviously out of the rough, off, which it is wet today, so is it going to affect the flight on there? We do see that from some cheaper golf balls with that outer layer. That sounded incredible. No, no deviation whatsoever again. I'm going a lot further than I thought. That's a little bit past the flag, straight onto the green. But even that, a little bit low on the face, felt nice and soft. So great for feedback, gone a long way. So we might be getting that max distance. Right, well, I was aiming at that post off the tee and fair to say we're pretty close to it. Um, so looking at the packaging for this golf ball as well, guys, if you've not heard of Mint before, they do offer loads of different type of ball for different ability level of golfer. And this one is designed for a handicap of all skill levels. So again, if you're thinking, should I be using this ball? Can I use this ball? Generally, they're going to say you can. Right, we've got around 100 yards here. It's clean in place because it's winter, so I'll just dry that ball. That is something, see there was a, look at that, there was a clump of mud on the other underside of that ball that I wouldn't have even known about. Guys, if you want to learn more about golf this off season, we have set up a brand new YouTube channel called Get Good At Golf. There'll be daily golf tips on there for you. Go over there, subscribe, do us a favor. We're going to try and get it to 100,000 as quick as possible because Chris is desperate for a YouTube plaque, aren't you, Chris? So, oh, am I. Um, also, we're going to help you with all aspects of your golf and get good at it. Right. That's a very high flight off the bat, isn't it? Yeah, launch a bit higher, which is what you'd expect. Do distance yeah, flag wise, high. Distance wise, perfect for pin high. But yeah, launch a little bit higher, but that's what you'd probably expect from this kind of surline. Cover. So if you've not got a urethane cover, if you've not got a polymer cover, as soon as you go down to those cheaper plastics, you see the ball will launch immediately higher, but it might have lower spin, so you might get the distance that way instead of the ball launching lower and the spin generating the ball flight. Right, so even with a fairly budget golf ball, you see the stopping power is quite good there, so that's more down to the landing angle than the spin. And Chris, yours has stopped on a dime as well, even though it was a little bit long. Yeah, it was coming out, it was coming in even a little bit lower than yours trajectory wise, but it still stopped straight away again. Soft greens, but it's more so with these golf balls of landing angle as opposed to spin potentially. So you just have to know that when you're choosing this kind of golf ball, this kind of cover, that you're going to have to be knowing your carries. And again, that's a big thing that we talk about on Get Good at Golf. Again, very soft off the face, especially with a white hot putter. A little bit short, but not bad from here. I'd be expected to three put, so uh, hopefully expected I'm not Expected to three put? You'd be expected to three put from there, but hopefully I'm not going to three Is that put. in the tall stats, you mean? Correct. Not just you yourself? Not just me in general. <laughs> right, big fan of the alignment aid. That's something which we always talk about on Talking Balls. How good 
is that alignment aid with the putter. It's a really nice, glary and obvious line. And this is a birdie. Ooh. That came off hot. <laughs> hot. Oh, what a Expected roll. to three, Paul. Well, not myself. But a great alignment aid, guys, there. Like James said, something that a lot of balls in the cheaper range of the market do miss. Yeah, that's a great roll. That's two great putts. Two, two very good two putts, actually. It is. In the mean? end. Guys, stay tuned because we are going to test these golf balls against the Titleist Pro V1 in the studio a little bit later on in this video and see if they really are mint value for money. Let's see how far this ball goes with Big Dog because that is what everybody wants to know when buying a new golf ball. Can I hit bombing drives for budget prices? Yeah, this is where using a more budget golf ball can actually help you in, in winter because if it's launching higher, you're using that launch angle to get the distance, not so much run. Keep going. If that's cleared those trees, that's long. Nice. That's more the chicken line. Low on the face, but distance-wise, again, still what I'd probably expect. So I have missed the fairway there, and Chris has missed the fairway on the other side. Two not bad drives, actually, for distance for this price. I'm not sure if mine did clip the trees on. 90 yards, try and get over that tree. Like that. Come on. Go. Oh, Let's yeah. Stride. Sounded amazing. There's a bit of mud on that, it's gone left. Right, so a mist green for myself and Chris mist green for you as well. Mm, just off the green. Do you want Distance to... wise, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, flag high to a, a back flag, which isn't an easy thing actually, because this green is a two tier green, which you really don't want to be short on. Right. Come off soft again for you, that hasn't it? Yeah, not quite got the pace with this ball yet. Yeah, centre strike, but just that little bit of a softer cover is making me struggle with this. I'm going to test it for spin, Chris, see if I can get a little checky pitch shot. Certainly launched off a little bit higher and ran out probably more than you thought. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It felt good, but it certainly didn't spin, which is a good job because it would have been even shorter. All of a sudden, that hole's got smaller. Cracking roll there again with that alignment aid. So far as well, not scuffing up really, the ball, so far. Yep. Oh, yeah, that alignment aid does kind of roll end over end nicely and gives you the feedback of a good roll, which is something which you can't really take for granted on a golf ball. Oh, time after time. So interesting point there, these golf balls aren't scuffing up too bad. We've played a couple of holes, but we've played quite a few wedge shots and nothing really to know about it scuffing up. Now, if you go and get a cheaper golf ball, but it scuffs up a lot and you hit a lot of wedge shots, especially in winter, is that ball good value for money? Because you're going to have to start replacing it more often, even if you don't lose it. Yeah, exactly. Then. It starts costing you as much mm. as a premium ball. So as mentioned, guys, we tested this cut price mint golf ball against a Titus Pro V1 in the studio. And I must admit, it definitely felt soft even off the driver, which if you are looking for a soft feeling golf ball, we've got to highly recommend it. But how did it do for numbers? You'll see it didn't quite add up to the Pro V1. It was three miles an hour slower on ball speed. It definitely launched higher, as you can see, which we've explained about the cover, and it spun just that little bit higher as well. Just five yards difference in carry though, and more difference in total because of the run out because of the launch angle. But you see those standard variations are quite close together as well. So comparable to a much more expensive Titleist Pro V1, as you would imagine, not quite the same numbers. It was lacking a little bit with driver ball speed and with distance. Chris, let's just see if we can uh, get under par here using these golf balls. 150 yards, eight iron, is it? Yeah, eight iron, right sided flag. A little bit of a Tina Turner over. Struck it fantastically. Oh, for the wrong side of the green. Yeah, this uh, you've opened this up for me here. Into the wind, actually. I don't know if this cheaper cover's actually turned on the wind a bit more than a premium one would. These are all things you need to think about when buying a cheaper ball. That's 
a good shot just right of the flag hmm didn't see it bounce so i'm hoping that's good yeah me neither felt good so again here even landed on a bit of a down slope that's a nice landing angle it stopped quickly with an eight iron chris has gone long right this is a very difficult chip up to this flag location oh great effort run past didn't spin but i don't think any ball would have spun from the rough onto a wet green with a wet club face so oh, i thought you had that not the ball it was neither great roll there just again misread better pace though finally getting the pace with the putter just a nice lag in the jaws guys that is a win against chris level part four three holes using the mint talent soft guys would you use this golf ball for the price let us know in the comments now go and check out part two over on chris and his golf we're going to test this ball for short game and remember if you want to get good at golf we'll see you over there too Bye.